Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I'm here today with... Wes. Wes is back. So, hey, Wes, why don't you tell them what we're painting today? Well, we are painting humongous canvases, like ginormous canvases. How big are the canvases? 48 by 24. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, Wes, go ahead and talk about how you're doing your process, because it looks like... You're getting a little bit <laughs> lazy with your, you're just pouring it right onto the canvas. Well, as you can see, I did start with a paint, I mean, a palette, but it just, I, I was running out of paint so quickly that we got to the point where I was just throwing the paint on there. And I start to work out that it's better if you add a brush before you just go ahead and sponge because it gets really, it doesn't leave as much white. Yeah. So you don't have to go over it too many times, and that's helpful. Lazy. <laughs> well, five. <laughs> five. <laughs> but um, look at you just splattering it everywhere. <laughs> but I had to get the wave. <laughs> you had to get the wave. Yes, it does look like like everyone can see our reference, but we were saying that this is basically the ocean from Moana, <laughs> or what is it, Defeaties? Defeaties. Uh, Stone. Heart. 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 Yeah, Tafiti's heart from Moana. So that just, yep, basically to that. The ocean. You should, you shouldn't have even done a galaxy. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you should have just left it alone. But I make it work. I, I find some ways to add some darker hues. <laughs> True. True. Oh, I think it looks awesome. Thanks. <laughs> I guess we should just like talk about what inspired us to even do these ginormous canvases. Well, of course you did your itty bitty canvases. The little two inches by two inches. And then you got, you met that guy, what's the... His name is Logan Sneed and he's, he's a, an amazing abstract artist and I just put, like I just got two uh, blah, blah, blah. I got two paintings from him and he paints like... What was the biggest one we looked at? 48 by like, 64? Yeah, it was so, crazy huge. And we were, we were in Michael's and we saw Michael's was having a huge sale. So we both bought these huge canvases. Is this the biggest canvas you've ever painted? It's one of them. It's gotta be. <laughs> it's one of them. I mean, the biggest I've ever painted was murals, but this is a huge yes. canvas. <laughs> Tell them about your fantastic <laughs> technique. Uh, well, I changed it about 12 times in this <laughs> procedure. So I just, you know what, guys? Try everything. Try, <laughs> try painting with a, just a sponge or painting with, oh, hi, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> or painting with um, just your brush. I mean, there's, there's different techniques, and they can come out all different ways, and they all look really cool. There it is. Yep. It came out pretty cool. <laughs> it really did. I like that you used little bits of stars. And the swirl is the main attraction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
the star to Neverland. <laughs> it looks like the star to Neverland or some black hole. <laughs> Sounds great. Well, look at look how tall it is and wide. Like in comparison, here is Wes, who is how tall are you? Five eleven. Five eleven. So look how tall that canvas is if you're five eleven. And then it's my turn. So like Wes said, it is pretty much you like you're. You have this huge canvas, and when you're looking at it, it is extremely intimidating just because it. this is the biggest canvas I've ever painted on. And, I mean, my arm was getting pretty tired. I don't know, was your arms getting tired? Well, I took many breaks. You took many, yeah. I had to edit out how many times you got up to walk away. <laughs> but with... Uh, my thinking was, since I've had such a huge canvas, I just jumped right in there, and as opposed to Wes, Wes actually did his colors first, and then he added black, as opposed to me, where I went, and I had colors in black, and I just was putting layers upon layers in every corner. I was just trying to focus on one end of the canvas, and focus on those layers, and those colors, and then I would move on. And unlike Wes, I actually used a paper plate for my paints <laughs> instead of splattering them on yeah. everywhere. You just had to mention that. I many... did. That did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how many times did you have to fill up your plate there? Uh, there's a lot of times I get up and I walk away like there. Oh, no. So when we were decide when we did buy the paint, the actual canvases at Michaels, we decided that what what color scheme was yours, Wes? Of course, green and blue. Green and blue, gal yeah, galaxy. <laughs> and then I took the purple, bluish, pinkish galaxies. I've noticed something like when I do galaxies, it almost reminds me that I do a little bit of a water technique as well. Like it looks like water. <laughs> And it looks like ripples and everything, and I don't know, like I, I noticed that like on the few, most of the few, the most like hundreds of pictures I'm doing on Instagram right now with uh, my galaxy doodles, like I'll make patches as opposed to like with your paintings, you took like huge sections and designated like an actual color. Mm -hmm. instead of doing like little patches like I do and that's always interesting to see that you use that technique where you use the big patches like, like mine is more of like a dry on dry like I use I paint my main stuff first and then mm -hmm. I'll go back through and add my blacks and my deeper hues and then you are more of like you do it wet yeah wet so yeah. you just you're constantly moving the colors around and coming up with your shapes but you're doing it all at once instead mm -hmm. of the two different times that like I do it. Right, and I wonder if that's just because I am mostly a watercolor artist, and I mean you're a watercolor artist too, but you have a huge different technique when it comes to acrylic mm -hmm. than I do, and I don't know, like, I know that you can blend colors more when yeah, with like, a sponge if the sponge is damp with water. Well, like, yours comes out as more of, like, it's all flowing together, whereas mine comes out as more, like, there's more clouds and there's more... Uh, there's different sections, whereas mm -hmm. yours is more blending. Yeah. I'm totally waving my hands around and you can't see it. No, are you, are you <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. As opposed to you, I put thousands of stars, hundreds of stars all over my galaxy. And the thing is, my technique when it comes to stars is I put more stars with the colors as opposed to the black. So I put less stars in the black. Yeah, and like that's all I do is I, I've done stars in black and darker colors. And mm -hmm. I leave my bright colors without any stars. Without stars. 
what opposite techniques he has. <laughs> There it is, the finished effect. I really, I like the way that it turned out. I, I think thought it's it really was cool. amazing. The only thing I wouldn't change, I would change, is not to do the big stars, like the big Neverland stars. I wanted to mimic you in a way, mm -hmm. but I like, I don't know, I just don't really like it, and I kind of split up their tails a little bit. But oh. there they are next to each other. <laughs> Mine looks so plain. <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't. I need some more stars. I'm gonna go home and add like Ooh. millions of stars. Your black hole is sucking up all the stars. Yeah, obviously, it's just a dead universe. <laughs> it is. <laughs> this is great. But this is what they would look like if they were hanging up on a wall. There is no way we could sell these on our Etsy's and ship them. <laughs> the shipping alone <laughs> would it be would, enough. We could just drive to your house. It, yeah, pretty much. It'd be like, oh, it's going to Tennessee. Well, road trip. <laughs> <laughs> but here is mine as well, hanging up on a wall. It's crazy. Yep, I wouldn't put the big stars. I like them. They look really, really cool. The up close, they don't look that cool, but far away, they look cool. Like, standing back, I love it. And, and up close, yours is just like so little detail. So I love it. Mm. Uh, eh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. It's just definitely different as opposed to the two inch by two inch canvases <laughs> I have been doing. <laughs> and as always, Wes is my art buddy so he always comes in and he paints up we always just paint galaxies together. just galaxies <laughs> nothing more <laughs> nothing, nothing like a good old art day with huge 24 by 48 campuses <laughs> but see you all later bye say bye 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 see ya. <laughs>